In the bustling streets of Alexandria, around 400 AD, I stood at the forefront of knowledge, a beacon of enlightenment in a world steeped in chaos. My name is Hypatia, and I was not just a woman. I was a mathematician, a philosopher, and a teacher. In an era when women were often relegated to the shadows, I dared to lead a school, a place where minds could flourish and ideas could soar. Imagine a time when the very foundations of thought were being challenged. The stars above were not just distant lights, they were puzzles waiting to be solved. I taught astronomy, revealing the intricate dance of celestial bodies, and I delved into the depths of mathematics, unraveling the mysteries of numbers and their relationships. My passion for knowledge was infectious, drawing students from all walks of life eager to learn and explore. But my work was not without peril. In a city where the flames of religious conflict flickered dangerously close, my pursuit of knowledge made me a target. The rise of Christianity brought with it a fear of the unknown, a fear of those who dared to think differently. I was seen as a threat, a woman wielding knowledge that could challenge the very fabric of belief. As I stood before my students, sharing the wisdom of the ancients, I felt the weight of history pressing down upon me. I was a woman in a man's world, yet I refused to be silenced. I engaged in debates, challenged the status quo, and inspired my students to think critically. My teachings were not just about numbers, they were about the power of inquiry, the importance of questioning everything. But the tides of change were relentless. A mob, fueled by fear and ignorance, descended upon me. They saw my intellect as a danger, my independence as a rebellion. In their eyes I was not a scholar but a witch, a sorceress wielding knowledge that threatened their beliefs. And so they silenced me, extinguishing a brilliant mind that dared to illuminate the darkness. Yet, even in death, my legacy endures. I was a pioneer, a woman who broke barriers and challenged conventions. My story is a reminder of the power of knowledge and the dangers of fear. I was not just Hypatia, the first female mathematician. I was a symbol of what it means to be a seeker of truth in a world that often fears it. My life was a testament to the idea that knowledge should never be silenced, and that the pursuit of understanding is a noble endeavor, regardless of the obstacles we face.